Welcome to the Creative Plan Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim and Kelly here from RPG A Day 2019, and I don't know if I want to tell you what the word of the day is. Well, then this is going to be a very short podcast. Well, can you guess it? No. No? Maybe if I surprise you with it? Is it a surprise? It's a surprise. Are you surprised? (laughs) No, not really. (laughs) Uh, It had three exclamations and everything. Well, then you should have said surprise! (laughs) Surprise! Ah, well, of course, surprise. What do you think of... I mean, there has been... Want me to give it a shot? Yeah, you go first. I'll surprise you with this one. Yeah. So, we all know from first edition D&D up to this one, the surprise round. They've changed it over the the generations. Like in fifth edition, there's no longer that first round of initiative where the bad guys get to go first or the good guys get to go first. It's just that if you are surprised, you don't get to go on the first round. So there's no longer a surprise round of initiative. They just said that, sorry, you're surprised, you can't do nothing. So never, ever, 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 ever be afraid to try to get surprised in an an encounter. As a player, try to use your skills to get that edge. Because let's be honest, in real life, ambushes are lethal. 80% of military contacts that happen in ambushes are usually in the attacker's favor. So as a player, use that perception, use that stealth skill. Use survival to say, hey, GM, can we set up a great ambush right here? Don't be afraid to use skills. You know, hey, can I use my athletic skill to set up a great barricade that they would have to fight to get over? Well, one time we did set a trap Mm -hmm. because one of us was a dwarf and used the dwarf skills to set up a basically a, a boulder fall, yeah, you know, to lead, lead, you know, once we lured them out, boom. Yeah, you created um, a horrible death trap funnel. You know, the classic military yeah. tactic of funnel your enemy to a single file line coming into your grinder. Yeah, and and GMs don't be surprised if your players use good tactics more than once if they're successful. True. And don't try not to pitch and pull the players, you know. If, if they do good and they have a great plan, let it happen. I mean, there are those times where the big bad is on the other side of the door, knows that the players are there. And the players know he's there, and everyone's having a Mexican standoff at that door that whoever opens the door is going to get shot with that first held action. So don't be surprised when that happens. But... As a group, don't be afraid to use tactics to get surprised. And of course, you then always make sure you have a barbarian with you who has the alertness feat so he will never get surprised, surprised. in the game. <laughs> gives, hey, gives you plus five to initiative and you're never surprised. Yeah, kind of like opening Gambit and Scion. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, so you always have that one that, player that will never get caught flat-footed. Yeah. Not that Dean uses that term anymore. That's a, that's a Pathfinder thing now. So always... Embrace the surprise when it happens. You know, don't be, like, t- terribly shocked when the surprise comes into play. Like, you know, <laughs> M- every M. Night Shyamala plot ever. Surprise, what a twist! Yeah, that's true. Um, well, then I'm going to throw it back at you for players, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's like, 
It's like, don't be afraid to surprise the GM. <laughs> yes, GMs love being surprised as much as they get flustered. Well, not all of them, because a lot of them are like, they don't know how to handle. They, you can shut them like, down emotionally. Exactly, because it's like you can take something in a completely different direction than what they had necessarily planned for. There's always a third option. Exactly. So, um, just uh, like off the top of my head, um, when we were playing Scion, Ragnarok and Rock and Roll, mm -hmm. you had no idea what to suspect when um, I was trying to break into the vault to get the ring, basically. Uh -huh. And I met the little guys, my little, Your little uh, fairies, my little pixies, guys, uh, my sprites. And uh, <laughs> but at the same time, the friend mirror, the, the wolf guys uh -huh. were coming into the hotel and they were basically trying to meet up. So they were really rude to the poor receptionist. Uh -huh. And I just kind of step in and pretend to be her supervisor. And I'm like, you have no idea. You were like, what the hell is she I doing? See you going I used to see so, and then I step in, and not only do I completely, completely derail anything that they're talking about, um, I basically send them off on a wild goose, goose chase. To go see the guy who says not yeah, my beach. The, the, uh, the, the, the yeah, the, no, who's a hill giant, or a mountain, yeah. Yeah, he was a giant. Um, uh, <laughs> and basically get them killed. Murdered horribly. Murdered horribly because, yeah, I totally surprised you with that one. Where I just pop on the computer, pretend to be the uh, hotel manager, and I'm like, well, let me see, sir. Well, I was like, nope, they're unavailable, but they did leave a note for you. <laughs> You're to go to this area of the beach. So I referred them back to a uh, um, Earlier uh, encounter. an encounter that we had met. And although we could have killed the giant... You merely um, we just for life. Hey, he started it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, he attacked us because automatically he knew that we were scions, mm -hmm. and he thought we were there to hurt him. Well, we weren't exactly. Um, we were looking for something else. Mm -hmm. He just attacked us, but we let him live. Okay. Surprise every every way around. Exactly. So, I just happened to send some of them back over to him. With a phrase that would ish be sure to incite um, violence. I'm sure that phrase was, this is my beach? My beach, yes. Not my beach. And uh, so, fortunately though, I was able to call the rest of our group and we were able to watch from the periphery as he annihilated them. Mm -hmm. so, but, so what saying, surprise! <laughs> so what you're saying is, is never be afraid to let your players surprise you and then you reward them for it. Yes, cinematically it yes. was really quite fun. Yeah, and there's more rewards than just treasure. You can give your there's nothing cooler than when you can let your players go into a dungeon and they can turn the dungeon against itself. Yeah, I mean the whole thing was surprising. Mm -hmm. You know, just the whole situation. You guys First of all, I'm surprised that I came up with it mm -hmm. on the fly by the skin of my teeth. You know, but I, I didn't want them to hurt her. You know, she was trying so hard. And, and she was being so nice to you. Exactly. And plus, I didn't want them to know why I was there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was a surprise all around. Yeah. That game was full of surprises. That game was full of surprises, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't want your family member to die, so just throw it in the water. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! The bad guys plot further along regardless of what happens. Because that is a good plot line that it can survive anything your players surprise you with. Because that way the plot keeps going. Because if the plot keeps go doesn't keep going, it's lost, which was yesterday. And today we're all about surprise! And also I'd like to throw out their surprise is... Never be afraid to surprise your friends with, with new games, you know. If you find a game, give a friend a game. If you, you find some cool game you want to run, run it for your friends. Surprise your GM with an offer to run a game every now and then just to change things up. That's a sweet surprise. That's always been awesome when that happens. So that is August the 23rd. Surprise. 
super hot, super hot, super hot. I think Gomer Pao said that. His priest says, surprise, surprise, surprise. Alrighty, guys, thank you for listening. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. Dungeoncrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.